Hi! I don't know how to start a video. Today I want to show you guys some Brazilian expressions we use a lot. And the reason why I want to do that is because they don't really make much sense when you translate them in a literal way. So I have a few expressions in my head. I didn't bother to write them down, I'm sorry. First thing a lot of Brazilians say is quebrar a cara, which literally means to break your face. That basically means to be disappointed. Like, you're really hoping for something, but then it doesn't happen, so you quebra a cara. Second expression a lot of Brazilians use, encher linguiça. Literally means to fill up a sausage, or something like that. It basically means like, yeah, I don't know how to translate this. Like to ramble on, you know, not say really anything important. It's like when you're writing an essay and it needs to be like five pages long, but you only have like one page of actual information, and then you just activate the bullshit for four more pages. That's pretty much it. Third thing, mão na roda. A hand on the wheel. When something is among the hard, it means like it's helpful, let's say. But I think it also means like it's not the ideal thing, it just kind of helps. Fourth, quebrar um galho. To break a branch, it, it's also something helpful, but not the ideal thing. For example, I'm using a tripod now, but if I didn't have one, I would probably just stack a bunch of books and shit here, and that would break a branch, you know, not the ideal thing, but it would be helpful. I've lost count, but I think that's five. To do something nas coxas, which literally means to do something on your thighs. It means something not exactly very well done, you know? Like, you didn't put that much effort into it, so it looks kind of... And actually, I have an explanation for this one. I mean, my father told me, so it must be true, right? I don't know how rooftops are out there, but here in Brazil, the rooftops are actually you know, something like this. So, a long time ago, people used to make those things on their thighs. And because everyone has different thigh sizes, it looked really shitty. So that's why they came up with the expression feito nas coxas. Which brings us to the next thing, and I've already lost count, so I won't even try to keep up anymore. Meia boca literally means half mouth. We use that expression when something isn't well done. If the work is not well done, it's meia boca, which in English would be half-assed. That also doesn't really make much sense, but we use it anyway, so... Next one. Chá de cadeira. Tomar chá de cadeira. Literally means to drink a chair or tea. We use that expression when we are waiting for a really long time. Like when you go to the bank and you need to wait more than an hour for someone to actually want to help you. I don't know if it's like this out there, but yay, it is here. So you just say you were drinking a chair tea. That's a really weird expression, but I love it so much. All right, next one. Fazer uma vaquinha. Literally means to make a little cow. We use that when, well, it's basically a crowdfunding, actually. Let me try to explain this a little bit better. Like, someone found a dog in the street, and the dog needs a really expensive treatment, so we will all make a little cow and try to help financially, you know? Everybody just collecting money and putting all their money together to help something. That's what it means. This next one we use a lot to describe our politicians. Tudo farinha do mesmo saco. All flour from the same bag. I don't, I don't mean flour like flour. Flour just like cooking flour. Are those pronounced the same? I don't even know. When everyone is flour from the same bag, it means everyone is the same. When there's a politician on TV being like, I won't steal from you guys, we're like, yeah, you're all flour from the same bag, so... This next one is actually pretty clever. Tapar o sol com a peneira. Literally means to cover the sun with a strainer, or whatever this thing is called in English. Which means you're trying to solve a problem in a really shitty way and it won't work. I don't know if those were enough, probably yes, if you want to know more Brazilian expressions, actually more nonsense Brazilian expressions, let me know. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to know more stuff about Brazil, and guess what? I also don't know how to end a video. I'll just go.